Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 40 of my modded survival series. Um, I have been watching this, and it's been working out pretty well. I went ahead and turned it off because obviously I don't really need the, uh, the essence or the LP right now because my altar is completely full. My um, personal network is full, I believe. Yeah, 150,000? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can math. 150,000. And this drum over here has 256 buckets in it, so I um, don't really need it um, right now. Um, I did notice um, uh, about a day or so passed, and some of the um, conveyor belts were broken. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that right now. I think it's only be I think it's because the uh, the creepers are only one block down from these conveyor belts. Uh, even some of the other uh, ones up here were uh, broken as well. Not exactly sure what to do about that. Um, might have to uh, keep an eye on it um, just in case um, it happens anymore. But overall, it's been working out pretty well. I have almost 125 stacks of the uh, gunpowder and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I went ahead and put these chests down here just for any kind of uh, runoff. Um, I haven't had too much runoff right now, it's just the uh, music disc. But at the same time, my altar was already full uh, before I even uh, finished the other uh, build in the last episode. So in, the, uh, in today's episode, there's only a couple of things that I want to do. So let me go ahead and grab the materials for it. Um, and then we'll st actually start something else. Um, sticking with the uh, the magic mods, um, I'm going to give blood magic a, a break for a little bit, but then uh, try something else out. So I will be right back. All right, so I want to go ahead and create what's called a, um, what is that called? An item translocator. I know that a lot of people have use these for um, automation of blood magic. Uh, I don't really like the idea because I don't really care much for the uh, stuff on the, uh, the surface of the uh, blood altar. Just It's just kind of gross to me, but I kind of want to uh, go ahead and do it for now. I have a couple of ideas to automate this um, in the future. Um, but right now I just want to move on. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Um, just going to create some diamond nuggets. And um, if I remember right, I put a nugget on that one. Let me go ahead and grab some stone. And let's see if we can automate this a little bit. Let me see, how do I do this? All right, so regulate. I just want one stone. If I do that and hit that button, it should just hold the other one stone. And as soon as I pull that stone out, or <clears throat> apparently a blank slate, it'll put another one in there. And that works out pretty well. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and keep that going. Um, I should have created another one of those. Let me run over here and create another translocator. There we go. Uh, another two of them, I guess. And this one, I want to put that one there, put that one there. I'm just going to reuse the, uh, the same chest. Um, this is almost out, so let me go ahead and turn on my mob farm down there. See if I can get some uh, blood going into this. Come on. I can hear them. All right, let me pull that out for a second. All right, so this is gonna be tricky. Uh, probably need to push that little button there to have it pop out. And let me go ahead and take the stone out. And how much LP do we have? All right, it's it's growing a little bit. So essentially, let me see if I have any of those in there. Um, so I have 
15 blank slates. It's not too bad. Um, I do want to uh, create what's called a blood lamp, sigil of blood lamp, and uh, this is going to require three imbued slates, which is basically the uh, tier three um, slate from a reinforced. So this might take a little bit because I don't really want to uh, run out of LP while it's doing this. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Probably need to grab this just for the time being. Just to get one of these guys. There we go. Imbued slate. All right, cool. So I should be able to put this in there. And if I click on that, I think that'll keep it all. Yeah, okay. But we're gonna have to uh, probably babysit this because of the fact that um, if this altar runs out, because if the uh, slates are just sitting in there for a really long time, we might actually run out because it'll be draining into the other slate faster than we're collecting LP from mobs down below. But uh, let's go ahead and keep an eye on this real quick. And it looks like it's hovering around 5,000 while well, it's going down now. So it might not be able to keep up. So, well, I have two. I might as well just finish this off. Um, so let me uh, go ahead and come back whenever I have the uh, third of these imbued slates. All right, so I was able to uh, get the third imbued slate. So let's go ahead and craft this guy up and uh, see what he does. So basically it's glowstone in the corners, uh, the torch up there, and magician blood orb, and yay, we have the sigil of blood lamp. Cool. So it, um, this is going to help us uh, basically uh, keep um, lighting. Um, right now this room is pretty dark, but if I come over here and I right click, you can see that it produces a light um, without a torch, but it does have this uh, little tiny animation. You can actually see the uh, hitbox of the, uh, the little lamp. So I should be able just to uh, run around, light it up, and it's going to use this uh, little tiny animation without having to have torches all over the place. And I think that would be really cool. Um, I went ahead and activated this so that it will uh, keep producing the, uh, the blank slates for us. Um, seems to be doing a pretty good job. As soon as a blank slate is created, it's sucked out of the system because I added that to the other uh, filters here. Um, at least get through that particular uh, step on a full stack of uh, stone might be handy uh, moving forward. I could just leave this uh, for now. Um, my... Ah! That was weird. Um... <laughs> I really hope he didn't blow up everything. Well, it looks like everything's still intact. I do need to start something else, and that's what I am going to do right now. Alright, so let me run back to my processing room. And if you remember, I went ahead and put these elevators, and not only do they go down, as you recall, but they also go up. So up here, pretty close to um, the, uh, the surface where all of my Batania is, I went ahead and created um, these ledges, um, basically to uh, repeat the other uh, one down there. Um, and this one, I am going to have as my Thomcraft area. Yay! So I decided in this episode I am going to start some Thomcraft. Um, I'm not going to uh, build anything big right now. Um, I'm planning on having some sort of mage tower or something. I still have to uh, visualize what I'm going to do out here, but I think this is a, at least a, a decent spot. Um, I could go up a little bit if I wanted to. I haven't really decided yet, but let me go ahead and grab a few things. Ah! I do need to uh, clear out all of the other uh, mobs up there. Um, but the, uh, the first thing that I want to do is create a wand. And this is going to use an iron cap wand. And I don't have any 
of these iron nuggets. So let me go ahead and create a couple of iron caps. There we go. And a stick. So this is fairly, fairly easy. And now we have an iron capped wand. Nice. And I don't have a, a Thaumonomicon, so let me get a bookshelf, grab one of those guys, place it down in the world, right click, and voila, a Thaumonomicon. And this is basically our guide for all of the uh, the magical stuff of uh, Thaumcraft, and we can uh, go in through here, read all of the uh, different things that uh, we need to learn. Um, we can do uh, all of our research and everything, but there's a few things that I want to achieve and that is based upon the experience that I've had with my um, mob room for my blood magic is um, some of the wand focus and one of them is the, uh, the focus of warding and that's going to prevent mobs from actually breaking blocks but that is really far into the future I still have to do a lot and lot of research um, in order to do that so the uh, first thing that I want to do with this is probably uh, start doing the other uh, research um, it has the uh, the thermometer right here and that's essentially just two gold ingots uh, glass and a couple of shards and it's uh, really any kind of shard so let me grab some glass and I have my gold ingots here and shard and I have quite a bit of shards and I'll just grab a couple of earth shards and that's fine and let me go ahead and put this in here. So this is uh, basically going around. Um, you can uh, look at stuff. And if you right click, you can actually learn what each item, each block, um, everything is made out of. Like I wouldn't be able to research this. And you can see on the, uh, the bottom right hand corner, I need to study crystals. Oh, that's actually really nice. Um, <laughs> the older versions of uh, Thomcraft didn't actually give you hints as to uh, what you have to study. Um, so this is actually kind of cool. Should be able just to... Um, that's kind of weird. What happened to my glass? Um, let me grab another... Oh, there it is. That's weird. I uh, should be able just to uh, scan um, things like uh, glass, and that gives us uh, the vitreous, which is, I think is the crystal that it was asking for. Um, not sure, but I do need to uh, go ahead and run around and try to uh, scan all of the things. Um, that way I can uh, actually get these uh, research points. Um, before I pull away from here, uh, there's a couple of other things that I want to do, and that is going to be um, creating one of these little guys for uh, scribing tools and um, all of the uh, different stuff for the, uh, the research table. So let me go ahead and get the uh, scribing tools created. There we go. Nope. I, there we don't go. Um, what about this one? And I don't have any feathers. That's kind of weird. Um, I know that I have some feathers down here. There we go. Um, let me just grab a little handful of these and run back up. There we go. All right. Um, so feathers and a water or a blank bottle without any kind of water in it gives me scribing tools. Cool. And I think if I go up to my Batania area, I should be able to take these, throw them in here. There we go. And it creates the Botanergist's Inkwell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And I think this actually uses mana from one of these tablets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is that correct? Maybe not. Um, maybe I need to create another one. Let's see, accepting mana from items. There we go. Okay, so all I have to do is charge it. That way I don't have to uh, use ink um, every time that my um, scribing tools run dry. There we go. 
think I can use it for this. I'll have to check. I've never actually used one of these before, so we'll just see. Um, and I want to have a research table, and I can't remember what that actually looks like. Um, Thumbnomicon research table. Does it have the table in here? Um, combining aspects. I do not recall what the table looks like. All right, so let me uh, look through here. I need to uh, figure out where I'm going to be putting stuff, and I will be back as soon as I'm ready to uh, continue with some of my research. All right, I think I have enough to uh, get started. Um, so first thing I want to do is go ahead and create a, a crafting station. I figure I'm going to be doing quite a bit of crafting up here at some point, so might as well have one. And let me go ahead and add a chest. And the uh, recipe for the tables is just like this. And I think I need two of them for a normal research table. So let me go ahead and put those there. And if I right click, new, no. really? Do I really have to have a normal scribing tool? Let me try getting it away from that. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. All right. So let me run back downstairs. There we go. And create another scribing tool because apparently I can't use the uh, Baturgenist's um, scribing tool. And there we go. So I might just uh, hold on to that one in my person. Um, hello. There we go. I believe this one will work, right? Yeah, all right, there we go. Um, and I probably need walls around here at some point, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let me just go ahead and get the, uh, the rest of this. Research, or no, arcane work table. It's going to be this one right here. And I do not have the recipe for that, um, I think. That is basically the uh, the same as one of these research tables, but if I right click it with the wand, there it goes. Cool. So it creates the uh, arcane work table, and this is going to be used quite a bit for all of our uh, magical crafting. Um, you can see that it has a little slot for your your wand in there, and it actually shows it on the other table which is kind of cool so any uh, recipes that can only be crafted if you use the uh, what's called V V I S um, out of a uh, wand um, we'll have to actually use that table so now I actually want to uh, start a little bit of research and to do that um, there's actually a couple of things that I want to do one of them is uh, this research expertise, and I forgot paper. I need to remedy the fact that I have to come in here every time that I want something. Um, future episode, that is actually something that I want to do. So let me go ahead and grab some more paper, probably a good stack or two, why not? Alright, um, maybe some of the uh, shards. should probably create a uh, chest with everything that I want to bring up and just use a dolly. There we go. Or just bring all of my research stuff downstairs. Uh, but now I should be able just to uh, right or just left click on this. There we go. And it added a research note to my inventory. Um, so I should be able to uh, look at this uh, research expertise, plop it in the table, and you can see that I'm missing a uh, couple of different um, aspects. All of these are different aspects. And eventually this uh, table will contain quite a bit. Um, but in order to do that, I need to continue running around, um, scanning all of the things, which is kind of difficult right now. 
might be able to scan something like dirt. Yeah, there we go. So that had Terra. Um, I do need to uh, keep scanning stuff in order to unlock those because right now uh, they're showing up as question marks. It's because I haven't discovered that stuff. So um, I am going to cut here, uh, run around the world, <laughs> try to find like grass and everything else. Um, that way I can uh, get any of these uh, research points that I need in order to uh, continue. So I will be right back. Well, I'm still out here doing research. Um, unfortunately, if you uh, look at the uh, far left or far right, um, it is still trying to catch up with me. I have researched quite a bit of things and that really scared me for a second there. <laughs> I like your hat. I um, wonder if I have that hat. I do now. Yay. <laughs> um, so it might actually take... Oh, that's a real, real creeper. <laughs> he tricked me. Um, it will take a little bit uh, for this to catch up, apparently. Um, yeah, I discovered Lux a long time ago, and it's just now showing me. Um, so I think that's one of the uh, issues early on. Uh, because you're just going around scanning everything and uh, it's just gonna have to catch up with you so I still need to figure out a couple more things I I'm pretty sure the uh, Precantatio that I just discovered I think that might be enough to unlock one of the uh, question marks so let me fly over here real quick and if it didn't um, I'll have to uh, go ahead and cut and uh, Try to do a little bit more research, but this should have... No, it didn't. All right, so you can see all of the uh, different items that I have. And of course, you do have the uh, ability to take some of your research points. And if you click a couple of different things, um, you do have the ability to uh, combine them into uh, one of the more complex. Um... And there we go. Um, which one did I just discover? Um, was it this one, Tempest? I'm not sure which one I just discovered. Yeah, it was Tempest. Um, so you can actually combine um, different um, of these aspects together and actually discover things. And a very important one to do early on is Victus, which is water and Terra, I believe. If you uh, combine those two, you'll actually get Victus. I can do that right now. And you can see that it's going up and giving myself research points. It's decrementing these. So do take that into consideration. So if you don't have too many of uh, one particular aspect, you probably don't want to use it just to uh, create uh, one of these others. But I still need to unlock these two other question marks. So let me keep going around the world, um, figure out which ones I need to actually do in order to unlock that. And this will take a little bit, as I mentioned. Oh, there's Bestia or Bestia. And that was from scanning the chicken down below. So it's almost caught up, but I will, uh, I'll cut back in whenever I have a little bit more. All right, I was able to uh, come up with enough research to uh, see that it is uh, Cognito or Cognitio, Cognitio. I'm not sure on the other correct uh, pronunciation and uh, census. Uh, so those were the other uh, two question marks. Um, I think this will at least allow me to come in here. Um, as you can see, I don't really know what um, census and cognitio, cognito, um, is made out of, but in the aspects of magic, you can come in here and take a look and see that uh, cognitio is ignis and spiritus. And if we go over to census, it's air and spiritus. So spiritus is really the, uh, the common thing in between these two. So I should be able to tie the two together just by taking a spiritus on both sides. And I could either uh, bring in one of these or something uh, from spiritus. Um, so let me see, I have 15 cognitio. 
17 of this. I'll just use one of these guys. That's fine for now. And you can see that there's a, a line that goes all the way uh, between the, uh, the little brain and the owl. So we actually connected these two. And in order to uh, complete the uh, the research, this little mini game, uh, we just have to uh, connect it with the, uh, the ordo, ordo at the uh, top. And uh, I think the, uh, the best way for that is with census we have air. And with air plus ordo makes modus. So if I come in here and I add air and modus, voila, we have all three of those um, aspects connected. And now we have research for the uh, expertise, research expertise. And that basically made this into a solid um, so now we can uh, actually read about it so now we can uh, whenever we remove an aspect from the uh, research table there's a 25 percent that will regain that research point um, where in right now if you were to place one of these um, I think it's a hundred percent loss if you need to uh, remove it like if you uh, made a mistake but uh, the next thing that I would suggest is research mastery um, this one has a little glow around it because some of these are what's called forbidden knowledge. But honestly, I think this is probably fine. Um, I wouldn't worry about this one too much. I think it's uh, more of a benefit than any kind of um, warp is uh, going to be for negative. So uh, let me go ahead and do at least one more research um, before ending off the episode, and I will be right back. All right, so here we go. It's probably not the uh, most pretty uh, craft in the world, but now it's just a matter of putting some Lux there, and we connected all four. And I now have the uh, research mastery. Um, one thing that I uh, realized after I uh, took this... Um, after I uh, stopped recording is that the uh, research that we did before research expertise um, it also allowed us to see like just hovering over um, each one of these things what aspects this uh, is consistent of so like uh, metallum is actually terra and vitreous is that right vitreous yeah and vitreous is made out of um, Terra and Ordo, as you can see. So if I were to uh, take Terra and Ordo, it'll actually increase this. Probably don't want to do that too much right now. But um, it does actually help you quite a bit because you can uh, go through here and uh, figure out the other uh, path a little bit easier than having to uh, flip through the other uh, pages of the Thominomicon. But now, if I were to right click on this, it has a little weird sound, and that's because I did research on the uh, the forbidden knowledge. Um, we can actually read about that somewhere around here. Can't exactly remember where that is. It's right here. Um, warp, flux, and all of the uh, things bad. So we can uh, read in here about warp and what it is. Um, I'll let you uh, read that on your own time, but at least now I have the research mastery. Um, and that gives us a 50% chance to regain research points. Um, lastly, you're able to combine aspects in the research table by shift clicking an aspect you wish to create, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it is uh, pretty important to get these two at least. Um, so now it's just a matter of going through the, uh, the rest of the uh, Thominomicon and clicking on one of these and coming up with the other uh, research notes and uh, go ahead and go through all of the research but I'm going to do quite a bit of this um, in between um, episodes I don't really want to uh, ruin the uh, the mini game for you uh, there's probably still quite a bit of research that I need to do um, just to uh, figure out which things that you've already scanned if you hold the uh, sneak key or shift um, whenever you're hovering over one of these items, you can see the uh, aspects that it's made out of. Um, if you don't see it, it's probably because you haven't scanned it yet. Um, looks like I've scanned about everything. And a lot of the times, yeah, um, some of these uh, magic mods are not going to have um, compatibility. So you can't scan like uh, a lot of the, uh, the blood magic. I know that you can scan 
the altar for some reason. Um, not sure why I can scan the altar, but not um, any of the items. Um, you can see that the uh, blood altar has uh, quite a few aspects in it, and I think that's uh, pretty cool. But uh, I do have to uh, close it off today. I'm going to do the, uh, the research in between episodes. Um, so go ahead and stick around, and we'll go ahead and uh, do a little bit more of Thomcraft in the upcoming episode. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you could rate and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.